As a child, were you ever in awe of the scene in Cinderella in which the sprouting pumpkin miraculously transformed into an elegant horse-drawn carriage? Well, that sort of display would not have been possible without the contributions of Dr. John Nash Ott. Dr. Ott was a photographer turned scientist who is most famous for his unprecedented work with time-lapse photography. He began his career in this field by taking pictures of a blossoming primrose over a fixed interval of time. After compiling the photos, what Dr. Ott had was a high-speed visual of the development of the plant. What would take hours, days, or weeks to occur in real time would take only seconds to show through his time-lapse photos. Disney approached Dr. John Nash Ott after hearing of his work and hired him to repeat his experiment, but with pumpkins instead of primroses. The film company was then able to witness the development of a pumpkin in high speed and then accurately create the scene of the transforming pumpkin in Cinderella. Ott's reputation quickly spread beyond the realms of the photography world. Along with his impressive photography skills, he demonstrated scientific knowledge and understanding through his work. Not long after he began taking these photos, Ott noticed the way that light impacted his plants. The majority of the photos he took were inside and lit by fluorescent lights, and his subjects were not developing as would be expected in nature. Quickly came to the realization that plants required exposure to the full light spectrum in order to grow and mature normally. He tested this theory by subjecting pumpkins to different color light waves and documenting their responses. Exposing the pumpkins to pink light for an extended amount of time, he found that the female flowers of the pumpkin were not developing, and that the male flowers would not develop when the same thing was done with blue light. One of his fascinating discoveries was that flowers on plants tended to follow their light source. Having this information in hand, Dr. Ott decided to build a special flower pot with an affixed camera on one side and a rotating base. This development allowed Ott to take photos of plants so that the sun was always behind the camera and the plants were always facing the lens. In order to better understand Dr. John Nash Ott's work, I attempted to create an homage imitating his time-lapse techniques. I did not have any plants to photograph, so I chose to document a decaying banana. The idea seemed easy enough to complete, but proved to be more difficult than expected. I planned on taking photos every 12 hours with the banana in the same location and position for a three-day time frame. It started out bright yellow and had two slight bruises, one on the top left corner and another on the bottom right corner. Over the next 72 hours, the banana gradually changed in both appearance and texture. The new bruises and blemishes began to appear on the banana peel, and the entire banana was enveloped in brown marks by the end of the three days. The overall texture of the banana changed as well. Initially, the banana was solid and firm, but as time passed, the banana began to soften, especially around the bruised areas. Able to witness the transformation of the banana firsthand, I was not able to effectively capture it on camera. With varying light due to inconsistent weather patterns and a general lack of photographic technique, the recreation turned out lackluster. Though my recreation was not as high quality as Ott's own time-lapse creations, it did help provide me with a better understanding of his work. Ott dedicated his life to photographing various organisms and working to understand how light impacts growth and development. He had to invest an extensive amount of time into his work in order for it to appear high quality and for it to be worth looking at. He did not become the father of time-lapse photography through mediocrity. Ott's dedication to his work allowed him to make scientific advances regarding the understanding of light and its impact on living organisms and also allowed countless advances to be made in motion photography. His handiwork with pumpkins and primroses had a much larger impact on society than my work with bananas did. After all, it's all thanks to this photographer turned scientist that Cinderella was able to ride to the ball in a horse-drawn carriage.